Hey y'all, uh, Wa here from 2020 MC, and we are on Thrillioth's Patreon server, Frillcraft. And today I wanted to show you some of the farms that we have built. I know Vontam has been showing a lot of the cathedral lately, but there's a lot more to the compounds and uh, a lot more to show you. So what do you say? Let's go take a look. Well, to start off with, when you first come to our portal, uh, if you go right past there, that's where our gold farm is, and that is the Il Mango design. I will show that to you another day. Uh, but down here also in our portal, we have a few villagers that I've brought in, a couple clerics uh, that you can trade the rotten flesh from, either from our gold farm or a zombie farm, whatever you have. So we have Huey, Dewey, and Louie, which are standard, uh, of course, for any farms we bring in. I always name them the same. Keeps it easy. So, um... Let's go take a look. So here we are at the compound. Uh, and like I said, there's a lot of different buildings and everything is open to everybody. We wanted to set up something for the community to use, uh, especially early world, this is really important. So um, I'm gonna take you around and show you what we have. So let's go. We're gonna start off with uh, where we first started on the server and I'm jumping. So our humble beginnings uh, is down here. We literally lived in a hole underneath the village breeder. Um, and we had all our storage, uh, which it was a lot of junk towards the end, so we cleaned it all up. But we had a couple ovens set up, you know, a couple of just a collection of everything. Uh, right here in this space is where we keep the doors for the breeder. Uh, right above us, of course, there's Jumpy. Uh, Jumpy McJumperson, uh, if he would like hold still I could probably show that to you but you know bunnies are fast so anyway there's the doors and we put these on the the platform and then the guys do their thing lots of red hearts happen very quickly on a free range breeder so um yeah it's kind of interesting looking around here I can remember where everything was anyway so free range breeder on some and I uh, usually use this method early world because it is so quick these guys will just take off like crazy. So um, a lot of times with breeders, you know, you have one, two, or maybe three. Um, so you have a very limited number of villagers, new villagers coming in. With this kind of a setup, you literally just keep going. So it multiplies so very quickly. So we'll put the doors up for an hour and, you know, we'll have 20 villagers to process through. So uh, one great thing about this is when the farmers... Uh, they actually feed everybody and they, they harvest and they plant and they share the food and they throw it around. We actually got this system uh, from Nembom's Simple Village Breeder. Uh, a lot of the concepts that we learned early on uh, came from him. Okay, so now we go back down. I wanted to uh, show you a couple things down here. Uh, first of all, we do have a map of the compounds and all the different fillings. Looks like it does need to be updated. I think as much as we build it, it probably needs updated every couple of days. Uh, but anyway, it shows the different buildings that we've put up, put together in different farms. So when you first come out of the portal, you're going to find the brewery. Open to everyone. Uh, BYO everything, because in the beginning we really didn't have a lot. But we can certainly help anybody out with something if they're new to the world and they need some uh, ingredients. We got lots. Over here we have our enchanted room. Uh, in the beginning, no lapis was uh, hard to find, so it was a BYO lapis, but again, now I got lots, so don't worry about that. If you're new to the server, come on down. Uh, up here on the hill is the trading hall. So let's take a look. Go up the steps here, and come into view. Very nice. Trading hall, if we don't have them, you don't need them. And that's because I was very careful to get all the different enchantments at the best prices. So there's our mending guy for 10 and over here is touch for 7. Those are my two favorite books. I put them on everything. So uh, <laughs> a couple mob heads. Uh, those are all mine. Uh, Von Tom likes to keep his in a shulker. Mostly secret because I think he has some that are forbidden. Anyway, uh, villagers, uh, the librarians are along the wall here. Ah, there's my enderman wall, my trophy wall. Any blocks that I liberate from the enderman go up there. My trophy heads, of course. Ah, librarians, so you gotta shut those trap doors, guys. Come on now. Keep it neat. So, all of the librarians are on the sides. And a uh, cake, of course, because I make it myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, make it myself. Uh, on the inside here, you're gonna find some other villagers. Like, we have uh, the weapons guys, the toolsmiths. 
And I try to keep these real basic, where just offering unbreaking three on like a pickaxe, a regular axe, and a chest plate. Got some armors over here, and of course the farmers. I do have more clerics there too. So, um, here we go. Yeah, see, signed. Close the trap doors. Keep it neat, guys. Thank you so much. And there's my gas tad. That was the first one I got on the server, like day two, I think. Something like that. It was kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah. So, everybody, welcome. Use it as much as you need. And uh, we got lots, so if you need help trading, we can help you out, too. My oasis. This I wanted to do from the very, very beginning. Uh, it, I needed to have some greenery, some color, some blues, so I set this up. Uh, the water I actually did a little cheaty with. Um, there's a light blue, blue concrete underneath there, so it gives it a real pretty blue color. And I, I tried to uh, spruce it up a little bit, do a little judging. Uh, yeah, the kale blocks, that was from Bon Tom. He thought they looked good. And don't make fun of my palm trees. They were my first time. Anyway, here we go to my pumpkin and melon farm. This is an ill mango design, which I'm not showing because I have it closed off. It's upstairs. But uh, real basic down here. Uh, that's my block cutter. That's Cup Fan 135. It's one of his versions. We uh, break all of the blocks on there, all the different ores. Uh, so I'm going to show you what this is. But um, this is actually goes into our sorting system. Um, it, it has the pumpkins and the melon come out. So this was my little crafting idea. I was trying to figure out a way to easily craft watermelons and uh, stick them in the storage because I didn't want them floating in the water with you know all those different pieces. It looks like they're empty. But um, what happens is I'm going to craft them and you're going to see them pop out of the little dropper buddy here. I think I just heard there's one coming maybe. I don't know. Come on guy. There we go. All right. Pumpkin shooting out. Um, and I'm going to show you where that is. But So the, the watermelons, you craft them up. You just stand here AFK for a second. And then you pop them in this box right here. And then a dropper buddy spits them out and sends them to the storage. So that way we're not putting all those little tiny pieces of melons in there. Which, come on, did, 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 doesn't, the math doesn't even work out on that. But anyway. So here's the back of that crafting system. It's really basic. I'm trying to work on something a little bit better for it, but for now, that's the best I got. So this was originally my sorter. It's an Impulse SV sorter. I uh, modified it a bit to uh, send the pumpkins directly into the water stream, but then send the melons into the crafting system. So I have to come by here every couple of days to uh, craft up the melons and uh, send them to the farm, but okay it's a little bit easier than what I was doing before which was just breaking a chest and filling my inventory so this is uh, kind of a work in progress uh, I will get more on that later all right villager farms because emeralds come from produce and they do I don't know if you guys know that if you don't have a diamond pickaxe you are just a couple of carrots away from it I've got a silk touch guy for 12 emeralds it's awesome so anyway uh, this is our carrot guy he's a shepherd See a shepherd? Hey, anyway, I've traded with him a couple of times, but he uh, attends the carrot farms. And over here we have our, our potato guy. Same thing, he just keeps planting all day long. Just keeps planting. Thank you for your efforts, sir. You keep me in emeralds. And uh, let's see, over here we also have uh, two wheat farms. We put two of these in because that one struggles a little bit more to produce uh, because of all the, wheat, the seeds that you get. So we've got one guy over here, planting away. Thank you very much, sir. This one's set up a little differently than the other ones, not an observer block. We have a rail system underneath, and that is going to pick up all those drops. Uh, a little faster, buddy. You're kind of blocking my exit here. Come on, you can do it. Another one. He's really taking his time right now. Keep it moving. There you go. Come on now. All right, come on. He's very thorough. He really is. Okay, let's make our exit. The other one is set up exact same way, just a mirrored image of it. And now we go to the potion hall. Yeah, we like slushies and we use them for everything. Uh, water breathing. Uh, dragon fights, instant health, all kinds of good stuff. So you guys will find um, this is the potion brewing hall that Von Tom created and he has a tutorial for that. That was actually our very first video. So you guys haven't seen that, check it out because it's a real easy setup 
very early world build that you can uh, get taken care of without a lot of expense. Okay, now we are at the sugarcane farm and the kale farm, uh, sorry, kelp farm, for those of you not familiar with my terms. Uh, but anyway, Von Tom has this set up um, to go directly into ovens and then a fourth one for the overflow. So he actually did the math to figure out um, how many drops that would be and how, you know, we know how often we have to go clean it out. Now this is a Cub Fan 135 system, real easy setup with some observers. You put it up, it just takes care of itself, it just grows, knocks it out, goes in the oven, you craft it, boom, done. It's awesome. So uh, yeah, there's a couple pieces going into the smelters now. So like I said, real basic. Um, it's early world stuff, but we just never really upgraded it, made it fancy because it does what we need. Here's my sugarcane farm. Now this is a Nembon design, and he is absolutely brilliant, of course. The world download that he gives has, I don't know, five, ten different systems, and it's kind of a history of a flying machine. So it's, it's a really good video and download to check that out. Down here we have our collection system. And then normally I set this up on a timer so that it just runs all the time. But because we're on a community server and there's some issues with lag and I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna cause any more anybody any grief. So I just had this set to manual. I just manually set off the flying machine and then jump down there and set up the collection and turn it off again and all's well. So we uh we get plenty of uh sugarcane from this small farm. Now we actually tried not to create real big farms this time. Uh, in our world, I have a huge sugarcane farm. We have huge kelp farms. But here, it's just not necessary. We didn't want to have to do too many chores. <laughs> we just wanted to build. So we have what we need in uh, these little farms. So uh, thank you to both Cub Fan and Nimbom for your brilliance. And here's the, uh, there's a water stream that comes down there. And that goes directly into the little furnaces. We get lots of kelp blocks. We have enough for us and anybody who might need it too. So. It's always really nice. <clears throat> yeah, see that over, that's the overflow one. It doesn't get used as much as the first ones. All right, here we go to my favorite, the storage hall and smelter. Now here, no drops left behind. We pick up everything and it's just, everything has a use. So what's brilliant about Minecraft is you don't even know you need something until you need like a, a double chest full. So on the right hand side there's manual, and then the left hand side is an automatic sorter, which are also numbons. Yeah, it's the input there. And uh, let's see, let's take you through the back. And uh, uh, what? Um, cake, 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 cake's in the way. I'm not even hungry. Oh, hate to waste cake, but anyway. All right, so <laughs> you're gonna see a lot of what? What is that? All right, wait a minute. We've got a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Fun. You need to fix the hole in the ceiling. Anyway, um, I had to encase this in glass because there is a water channel that's coming in from uh, the logger house, and that puts the logs directly into the sorter. It's a brilliant sorter. I love this. I don't understand any of it, but I don't care. I've made like six of these, and it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, never fails me. So uh, <laughs> the guts are insane. It's it's you know a lot of a lot of trial and error and fixing and when you don't get it exactly right or one repeater is off a little bit, you might be in trouble. But it's a really great system and I, I do in, endorse it. And I say anybody who wants a system, you got to try this. Uh, here's the back. Uh, I mean, it lights up like Christmas when there's something in the system. And then right here, yeah. The middle. A lot of observers and rails and. Brilliance, I don't understand. The back end, the power stuff. And there's a repeater right there in the middle. That one right there. That one I had backwards and it <laughs> it was terrible. I had to troubleshoot everything. But when I set up the water stream, I actually, uh, the water leaked in and all of that on the bottom was washed away. I was so mad. I couldn't believe I did something so stupid. But yeah, so now everything's encased in glass so that hopefully it stays safe in case something else happens. But, um, yeah, that's my beast. It's beautiful. Huh. I was a little looking at it. You say when it's, it just lights up like Christmas when there's something in there. 
Uh, there's part of the water stream. I'm probably going to show that to you guys at some point. Um, I have two different water streams going to a farm storage and also to this main storage coming from different places. So that all goes up into the system. And uh, yeah, I love it. All right now, how do I get out of here? Uh, yeah, up here. Mm, yeah, I need, <laughs> I need blocks or something. <laughs> Not very well planned. Um, yeah, too short to jump. Okay, here we go. We'll figure it out. It's a little bit messy. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Here we go. Go. Which way do I go? There we go. Yeah, we got it. Good to go. Here we go. Now we have no cake. We had our cake and ate it too. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. And uh, of course, Von Tom Floors, and uh, he got those flowers for me in the very beginning, so I just kind of left them up. And uh, yeah, it's time for some dance music. Here we go. This is our favorite song. I uh, can't resist. We've been playing this for each other for, well, since the first time we found one. We didn't even really know that there were other CDs. and. We just found this one and it was just our happy music, so you play it a lot, but uh, dance around be stupid. Anyway, back to business. Down here is the uh, smelter, and I built Frilioth Smelter, uh, industrial smelter I think he calls it. I will put a link in the description of course. But this one actually collects the XP, and um, I did set something up wrong and I just never fixed it, but there's a switch that you put on that lamp and it's supposed to uh, lock all the hopper, lock all the ovens so that you can collect the XP. But uh, yeah, I need to fix that. Project's getting in the way. Oops. Alright, so down here is the guts of it. And um, the. Wait, what, what's going on here? Hey, get up there. Alright, looks like I did something else around here. Um, what? <laughs> okay, we can go up there. Um, I'm gonna need to check that one out. Um, it, it's supposed to be locking. So the, the one on the, the right here is locked in place. The gates are supposed to hold it. But um, I, I was doing something with the floor in the front when I was judging that up and I probably screwed something up. So uh, I need to check that out. It's for the fuel so it's it's probably been full for a while. But down here is that, that redstone lamp. It's supposed to be the wiring that locks the, the ovens. But like I said, I, I screwed something up so I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, it did work at some point, <laughs> but then I judged, so who knows, I don't know, I'll close that up. There we go, looking good, that's all that counts, mm. so I gotta fix it. Anyway, off we go. So I think that's it for today's video, uh, I want to thank you for, to, to, uh, turn around, there we go, I want to thank you for stopping in and checking out some of the farms. I'm going to include links for all the different farms that we set up so you can uh, check those creators out. We thank them for their efforts. Also check out our server mates. A lot of them have uh, YouTube videos and there are some really great builders out there. And stop by Frilios page. Tell them we said hello and that we sent you. Take care y'all.